series of ultrasound. All sound is created when molecules in the air, water, or any other medium vibrate in a pulsing wave. The distance between each peak determines the wave's frequency, measured as cycles per second, or hertz. This means that over the same amount of time, a high-frequency wave will complete more cycles than a low-frequency one. This is especially true of ultrasound, which includes any sound wave exceeding 20,000 cycles per second. Wells began to experiment with this technique as a non-invasive way to see inside a patient's body. Today, ultrasound imaging is used to evaluate organ damage, measure tissue known use, the fetal ultrasound. First, the skin is covered with conductive gel. Since sound waves lose speed and clarity when traveling through air, this gooey substance ensures an airtight seal between the body and the wand emitting ultrasound waves. Then the machine operator begins sending ultrasound beams into the body. The waves pass through liquids like urine, blood, and amniotic fluid without creating any echoes. But when a wave encounters a solid structure, it bounces back. This echo is rendered as a dot on the imaging screen. Objects like bones reflect the most waves, appearing as tightly packed dots forming bright white shapes. Less dense objects appear in fainter shades of gray, slowly creating an image of the fetus's internal organs. To get a complete picture, waves need to reach different depths in the patient's body, bypassing some tissues while echoing off others. Since longer, low-frequency waves actually penetrate deeper than short, high-frequency ones, multiple frequencies are often used together and composited into a lifelike image. The operator can then zoom in and focus on different areas. And since ultrasound machines send and receive cascades of waves in real time, the machine can even visualize movement. The waves used for medical ultrasound range from 2 million to 10 million hertz, over 100 times higher than human ears can hear. These incredibly high frequencies create